Hey there YouTube, it's Math Baller. Welcome to my TTM Monday Autograph Recap. This is going to show my autograph returns I received from the previous week, April 18th, the week of April 18th. I received 13 autographs from six people, including a signed Sports Illustrated and a signed program. So good stuff. Looking forward to showing it to you here. And I'm going to show you the order with which I received them. So, yes, here we go. All addresses were found on SCN or SCF. So please do not ask me for addresses. Uh, for 2021, I've been sending out seven requests a week. So getting six back sounds about right. First off, first time I ever sent to him in 13 days, Brian Little. He signed three of three plus an index card. So maybe I could say four of three. And this is the reason why I sent to him. I really want to get this Stuart Food card signed. And there's the third trading card from Brian Little. 13 days. I had never sent to him before, so that was pretty cool. Next up, I had never sent to him either. First time, you know, so this took 30 days, two of two, from Gary Stevens, who was, of course, as you can tell, a jockey. He was a pretty darn good jockey. Look at Good stuff. So I saw he was signing multiple, so I sent one of these generic autograph card, Hall of Fame cards, and he signed that one as well. Even added his Hall of Fame inscription, so that came out nice. All right, first time I ever sent to Frank Carpin, who signed in black ballpoint pen. Two of two in only eight days. And he also signed a generic autograph card with 1965 Pirate, number 20. Very cool. All right, time to get into some of the exciting things, the two non-trading cards. This first one came back with a $20 cash donation in only nine days. I have sent to this person numerous times, and I have no problem doing it because it's with a donation. We have Mr. Vern Law. Signed this 1960 program, which is great because they won the World Series in 1960. I got Dick Grote, the NL MVP in person from that year, who played for the Pirates. And now I got the Cy Young player. So the next stop for this is going to be Bill Mazeroski. I'll put a little post-it note right there. I'll, I'll send an extra, hoping that he can add his home run. Inscription, Game 7 World Series home run. We shall see. So I'm going to send this out now that the video has been made. The excellent return from Mr. Vern Law. His donation goes to a great personal family cause. Next up, first time I ever sent to this person, one of one in only four days. I mean, he lives close. Um, and he returned my $5 donation. He was never asking for donations, but I thought since I'm sending a Sports Illustrated from 1978, I thought I should, but he returned the money anyway. We got Mr. Chuck Fusina, local guy, had a good college career, played for Penn State. So I saw somebody get him back, and I thought, well, let me go ahead and get this Sports Illustrated if I can find a cheap one and send it out, and I did. Uh, and it looks nice. Sign in blue Sharpie as well. And he returned the $5 donation. Okay, we got one more to show you. This was a first timer. The last one I received for the week is a golfer. During 2021, of the seven that I send out a week, two of them are golfers because I have so many golf cards. And I got three of three back in 12 days from Jerry Pate. I also sent to... Another person whose last name is Pate. Hopefully that comes back as well. So we shall see. I got Jerry Pate back, and he signed three of three, the two pro set cards and the generic autograph cards. So there we go, 13 autographs from six people, including the 1960 program and a Sports Illustrated. So good stuff. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What was your favorite? I do appreciate that. And I also appreciate if you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I upload a TTM video like this every Monday. And I upload an autograph or trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Take care, everybody.